Okay, uh, there was one other very important thing I wanted to convey, which I, I mean, we were slightly out of time. Uh, this is dealing with the lab sessions. So there are these lab exercises. I will share with you the source documents. What I have here is PDF, but I'll share with you the ODT or the PP, or the, sorry, the Word documents, doc, doc documents. And you will have to edit these documents. So what is going to happen is some of these exercises, for example, in this exercise, I asked you to do wget certain URL. Now this URL is internal to IIT Bombay. It may not be, I mean, it depends upon the setup. So this one, you could potentially access it even from outside. That is fine. But this may be no proxy setting. All those things are kind of uh, internal to your thing. Similarly, in one of the lab exercises, there was something about doing SSH to your neighbor's machine and for which the username login, like the NSL user, it's a con same uh, login for all the machines. Now, if you didn't do this, you had different logins for all the machines, then the participants may need to be provided with uh, which, where should they SSH to. And not only that, there was also an exercise which talked about same subnet, outside subnet. Uh, when you are running trace route, I provided you some examples of some machines to which you can do trace route where something meaningful has come. So the setup, in other words, when you are passing this lab exercise to your participant, remote center participants, this lab exercise by itself will not quite work just because you need to specify this additional information. So what I'm going to do when I share these editable thing is I'm going to blank out some of the things that are institute specific where you have to enter that particular information. And it is your responsibility to fill in those details and pass it to the coordinators. In fact, you should do these lab exercises on your machine, either you or your TAs, whoever you are employing, have to do these lab exercises once more in detail, ensuring that whatever additional information you are giving is the correct thing. I mean, you, you think, okay, this uh, if I specify this IP address, it is indeed outside subnet. That is what you think, but you actually have to implement it, see it, that it is indeed working correctly. So there is this aspect of the lab preparation also you need to focus on before the uh, actual workshop. Uh, even here, to the good extent possible, you figure out by yourself, you can use the discussion forum under the Bodhi tree or email me in case you are unable to uh, uh, figure out what exactly should go in the lab exercise. I'll, I'll help you or if it's in the discussion forum, maybe some of your own peers uh, who have, see oftentimes uh, the setup that is here, I don't have a very good idea of your own setup. But since other engineering colleges, maybe the setup is similar. So sometimes I may not be able to provide the proper uh, feedback or proper help, in which case your peer group, since you have made so many friends here, they may be able to help. So all these lab related issues, it's better to pose it under the discussion. In fact, many things I would say, use the email option, the T10KT uh, thing rarely, post whatever, in whenever you feel it's just not me, but others can also contribute in answering your question please post it under the discussion forum so that others can also help you in that particular setup. Okay, so that's, with, uh, that's the other point I wanted to mention. So many of these things, these slides that I have shared with you along with those scripts that I was talking about to install the tools along with the source of the lab exercises, all these things within the next uh, by the end of next week, definitely I will put them all together and I'm going to upload it under the references for you to share. There have been video recordings done of the talks that have happened. These things will take some time, maybe another uh, uh, few weeks. Whenever they are ready, even those I'm going to share it with you. So that kind of concludes more or less what I wanted to convey. Uh, we can continue with some questions.
till we break for lunch around 12:30, 12:40. Told us to do online submit online feedback. Ah. But you want to know what the survey results are? <laughs> okay, let's see if I can pull it. So in the meantime, if there are other questions, you can ask me. I can show this. Assessment should be the same as we have been given, or it could be, I mean, changed, or I mean. No. So, so the lab assignments will be identical to the lab assignments you have done, just because I don't. I mean, you have done this. You know what the solutions are, so you should be able to communicate the same to others. I mean, uh, stick to that, or can you add something? So more? that is what. So what I will do when I share the lab exercises is I will also, if possible, try to add on some extensions. So if you are done with this and you are free, you can do the extensions. But note that if you are doing the extensions, you yourself should have done the extensions before you provide support. So for practical purposes, I would say stick with whatever I have given. But if you are enthusiastic, you are ready to guide others on some extra, I can add on some extra exercises. Uh, last time you told ma'am that we can customize the Bodhi tree videos. Yes. So, can you give a bit of demonstration on that, how to customize them, like how to include our own lectures and all? Right now on the current platform, uh, so what we do is we freeze, so what you are working on right now is what is version 2, there is an ongoing version 3, so on that you can do, but that is not, for, it's not easy for me to demonstrate on that. Okay. So one more question uh, regarding the participant workshop, hmm. like will these uh, videos what you have given the demonstration for us, the same thing will be run or it will be a live, a live type of stuff which will be going on for the participants? Sorry, I didn't catch your question. Oh, no, not a lab session, so uh, lectures, lectures huh. we are talking about. The talks which is the flip classroom, think, pair, share and the, uh, the project talks, they are recorded here. So these recordings uh, will, so there are two options, either they will be streamed live or will be shared there where you locally play it. So I'll put up all these things up on the web, you can download it. Uh, you will play them during the designated time and then the concerned faculty will hopefully be here to do a face-to-face -face discussion. Okay. Or they will view it offline during even before they come here and then extend the duration so that they can we can answer more questions this the information detail i will convey to you once the schedule is finalized because i need to talk with the participants to see if they are available or not if they are not available it will just be that the talk will uh, go on and maybe i will handle some of the questions if they are there maybe talk will be offline and you can talk with them okay uh, in the introduction sessions here, we had immediately started with the discussions. So when we'll be holding the same in our remote centers, it like uh, I, I, it's my pers uh, my individual perception. I think it might be good if you can give an introduction to the uh, chapters and overview of 10, 20 minutes and then start with the discussion rather than starting with the discussions immediately. You're saying about the content. The labs content. anyway, I will give Not an lab. overview. I'm saying about the, um, because here here we had immediately started with the discussion process. Rather than that, it's I think it's good if we start with some overview of the chapters, the outlines, maybe 10, 20 minutes, and then with the discussions. OK. Ma'am, uh, we have a serious doubt about the participants that with what preparation they'll be coming to the uh, workshop. Huh. So probably they'll not be having uh, enough contents with them so that they can directly be put into the lab sessions. What can be done like? See, for the lab sessions, before they come in, they are, they, I have provided uh, some videos on NS2 socket programming. The slides are also there. If possible, I was thinking of doing one small video on PCP dump Wireshark, uh, those things also, those they would have watched before they come. Not only that, at the venue also, I will spend at least half an hour before every lab talking about just like I have done, I mean not for the first lab but for the later labs, I will talk about what the lab is about and what is expected of them, that kind of uh, overview also I will provide. Zip file, all that we need, utilities other than Linux, huh? uh, I zip, will uh, yes, that you will upload in Bodhi tree. Yes. I will upload, I showed you right that uh, dot sh dot master dot all that thing I will upload. All you need to do is go to the directory and just execute that script. Result of the survey. So there were 171 responses so far. I will 
don't know if you can. I guess it's, I guess you can read, right? Or I should read it for you. <laughs> So this first thing says need for instructor presence, 34 felt, or rather 21% felt very much, 62% felt sometimes, 18% did not feel the need for me when they were watching videos. Uh, quiz within videos, a good number felt that they have helped understand the concept better. Again, outside video, outside video quizzes also a good number felt uh, that they did help in understanding the underlying concept. Uh, a good many people seems to have spent a lot more time than the 20 minutes that a particular video takes. Uh, majority seems to be using Windows 7. Uh, Linux also is not a bad number, but I think majority is Windows based. Uh, which browser? Chrome people have used. So Chrome, you didn't face any issue with the uh, video load? OK. We didn't test it, so that's why I didn't include it, because we were afraid, since we didn't test it, whether, again, a good number seems to have faced some problem or the other with video loading 35%, video playing 22%. Uh, I guess many of these I have covered. This is the network speed. This is very interesting. Decrease significance for some participant who has <laughs> who lost what they understood. <laughs> I mean, your computer. So this question was there for my students who had no knowledge of computer networks, whether they did not understand uh, this thing. But you being computer network instructors, you don't want to see this, that uh, you come for a workshop and you forgot what computer network concepts are. But <laughs> <laughs> no, it could just be a mistake someone has made. Maybe they did not understand uh, the, the thing. But anyway, I thought it was. So interest levels, I think, are mostly increased. Amount of time you spent. Uh, yeah, this is also, I think, for most of them seems to have spent a good amount of time. The things, I guess, it's just the flex similar points. I didn't go through in a lot of detail since I didn't have time. But I will go through each. So as I said, your feedback is very important. I will go through each and everything in detail once this thing ends. So it looks like majority seem to buy into the idea of this flipped classroom kind of teaching. But I do relate with the minority also because I can understand where you're coming from. There is. Uh, good trade-off. As far as the content is concerned, I think this is uh, a range. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is again very subjective. I also quite uh, understand if someone didn't like the way the text or the way the content is organized. I mean, it's a user perception. There is nothing that says you should like whatever other person does or the other person's type. Okay, nothing but, about organization, but everything is good. Huh. Whether we get the band to care, the utility, that is all matters. Okay. <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying even otherwise, this wasn't the question. This question wasn't on that. This question was uh, if you were to view it as a textbook, which is basically asking how the content was. You may have liked it, but all I'm saying is doesn't mean others should like it. I mean, with just like food habits, I may love ice cream, but others may hate it. But it's an individual perception, which is very valid. It's, I'm not uh, saying it's, but I'm happy to see that at least eight and above that number is, uh, uh, there are good number. I mean, that is good enough satisfaction for me. But that said, the others, whoever have kind of commented, uh, I would definitely like to hear some feedback from you as to if there is something I could have done to improve uh, the content itself. Yeah, I'm not talking about Bodhiri platform. There are a lot of technical issues with, res with respect to that. With respect to the way the content was delivered, like uh, the explanation style or uh, uh, it's like writing a textbook. Some textbooks are well written, some are badly written. So it's a question of how you felt about the textbook. If there is something I can do to improve uh, the overall content, I'm more than happy to. I mean, this, uh, this is not, there, there's always scope for improvement. So that information also I haven't explicitly asked, but if you are 
ready to give even anonymously you know you could send anonymous emails also it's not uh, there are certain uh, utilities out there through which you can send anonymous emails so you just google for them it will let you send an anonymous email you can use that to send me or you can also write directly write uh, i won't as i said i as a person i'm not going to be offended or feel bad about any of these things because i feel there's always scope for improvement no matter what Huh. Not a comment on other suggestions. Huh. We teachers, we are not students. Huh. Everything what we see, we should take it, take it as additional information. Huh. Other than that, what you want, you refer textbook. Can we tell whatever resource you like? Hmm. You go on hunt. Hmm. So we should only appreciate. <laughs> that I mean, you, that is your perspective. But it could also be the case that yeah, you could have done a better job. Maybe this concept you should have covered in a different. <laughs> Yeah, so fine, everyone is entitled to their opinion. I don't think we should uh, hold it against them. Okay, so this is again a good statistic for us. The fact that many people do want to use it is kind of, uh, so we will see, as I said, maybe six months down the lane or whatever, I will contact most of you once some clarity emerges on using this platform within your own institutes to run your courses. I know there are other concerns which were raised earlier also. I think uh, especially there is some fear like I may lose my job kind of a thing. I know I don't, uh, we should work towards a case where teachers at the engineering colleges also feel empowered to use the platform. I mean, they have to fill a role, which I feel comes from this face-to-face -face interaction, doing those tutorials, like what Sridhar was also mentioning, do the think pair share. Who is going to, I mean, I cannot do it. You have to be there face-to-face -face with the students, uh, doing those discussions, uh, doing conducting those tutorials where you are excited, you are making them excited about the material. That role only you can play. And you need as much knowledge as me in order to design and run those tutorials. So I don't buy into the argument that this uh, kind of uh, demotivates the local instructors. Local instructors have a very important role to play. How it is finally going to emerge, I think we need to give at least five, six years forward to see how, what shape this whole movement is going to take. But it looks like given that technology improvement, this is kind of likely will become the norm later where you are going to move more towards the flipped classroom model. I mean, that is my feeling. It will go on like this for maybe another 10 years and then maybe they will realize after doing some studies that uh, the learning has gone down and maybe they will go back to the blackboard. But definitely for the next few years, I think uh, this technology and this approach uh, is going to be uh, there. So we might as well adapt ourselves to embrace it. That's that's my feeling. Only one suggestion, but sorry, one sharing. Hmm. Uh, yes, at india.org, uh, Professor Mechanical Engineering Ashwin Kanitkar. Hmm. Very, you all, we all know about him. Hmm. He, they are selling CDs, hmm. but we, there is some limitation. We should install one, only one machine. Somebody was talking about distributed information. Can you give it in CDs? Hmm. He is having so much of restrictions. He is, it is a commercial product. We cannot demand anything. Hmm. But he is teaching these basics. But only if we listen to his lecture, hmm. we will come to know the intricacies, hmm. how depth the subject should be uh, uh, dealt with. Hmm. But there is so much of limitation. Hmm. If you could improve on that issue, Mm. Uh, for example, even for a simple matter like C, mm. only if we lis listen to his lecture, we get more understanding. You covered much of basics. Mm. If, if chance permits, you could uh, see his lectures, case at india.org, it is a commercial product. Mm. He teach basics, but also go into the intricacies. I see. So that way it could be improved. Okay. So this is a basic course. There are advanced courses like, so normally we have this course which runs at the undergrad level. At the graduate level, we have what is called advanced computer networks. And then we also have wireless networks and advanced wireless networks. So these courses are also there. The thing is, uh, over time, within the another one, two years, material for these will also be ready. 
about subject enhance not about syllabus en- enhancement or something like that madam even teach see what happens inside like that i see so, so huh. uh, yes okay you are saying even more depth yes, see yes. again so i have a point of contention there is it depends upon who you are targeting an average student is not interested in knowing it in that if you are doing research i agree you you have to get into a lot of detail but for an average student even the content i have presented i think is in lot more detail than is necessary for an average engineering college student so the question is who is your target audience if your target audience is an average engineering college student in fact i should probably lighten some of this stuff up in fact i've given more in deep but if your average audience is someone who wants to do research in the space then i have to go into more detail so i mean i am not currently not focused on that aspect i am only focusing on people an average engineering student who needs to study something to get a job how much time did you take to develop this entire program so just with respect to the course content itself uh, as I, i mentioned this statistic each 20 minute video takes roughly the equivalent of uh, maybe 10 to 20 hours uh, depending upon the content and thing so uh, this is not like a yeah many things take time it's it's a long process it took me roughly uh, over a period so the learning curve itself is rather high the learning curve itself was few months where at the end of it i just produced two three vid- i mean let's say i produced only five videos but the learning curve of getting familiarized with how to speak how to record how to edit everything itself was like i would say three four months once that learning curve was surpassed then things started going faster but even there as i said it took me uh, about 4 uh, months where i worked all days of the week uh, starting from uh, more or less morning till <laughs> evening uh, and maybe even late night but of course i had other commitments as a faculty so it was a full packed that entire 4 months i did not have any breather like uh, i worked all days of the week i worked from morning till more or less 12 in the night with uh, in st- let's give her a big hand ladies and gentlemen <laughs> so, so, thank you <laughs> okay i mean we can break it's 12:30 so we can break uh,